Everyone knows Brightside, the catchy titles and irresistible thumbnails promising to guess our age or tell us our IQ. And lucky for us, they post three times every single day, ensuring that there is always something to watch from them. This formula of high volume and, um, sensational headlines has worked wondrous for Brightside, allowing them to grow from nothing to 35 million subscribers and 6.5 billion views in just three years. But this merely scratches the surface of the Brightside empire. So here's the other side. Starting off, Brightside is owned by a company called The Soul Publishing. I started by talking about Brightside as this was the channel that I was most familiar with. But you guys are probably familiar with many of their other channels as well, considering that all of their channels are quite massive. The Soul Publishing are the people behind 5 Minute Crafts, 7 Second Riddles, Avocado Couple, Slick Slime Sam, Dude Land, and of course, Actually Happened. They actually operate over 100 channels that have a collective 420 million subscribers. Their videos span 18 different languages and allow them to produce 2,700 videos every single month or 90 videos every single day. Given all of this, it only makes sense that we try to estimate how much they actually make from all of these channels. Most of their videos are generic entertainment videos and have little educational value, so their CPM is likely quite low at $2-$3. to The CPM is essentially the amount of money a channel gets for every 1000 views, and will be conservative and put their CPM at $2. The next step would be to estimate how many views they get per month. We don't know the names of all 140 YouTube channels. So we have to work based on their subscriber count and how long the company has been in operation. The oldest English channel seems to be made no earlier than 2016. But the sole publishing is thought to be a Russian company as many of their ad purchases with Facebook and Google have been in rubles. As a result, some of their channels in other languages may be much older. However, as all of their English channels were created in or after 2016, we'll say the average age of their channels is 5 years. To figure out the total views, we're going to have to estimate their average subscriber to total channels views ratio. For instance, 5 Minute Crafts has 66.8 million subscribers and about 18 billion views. This means that they have approximately 260 times as many views across their channel as they do subscribers. For Brightside, this factor is 185.7. For Actually Happened, this factor is a whopping 384, and for 7 Sec Riddles, this factor is 285. Generally, it seems like they have 200 to 300 times as many views as they do subscribers, which is actually really bad as it shows that they have a really low subscriber conversion rate, as this means that on average, only 1 out of every 200 to 300 viewers actually subscribes to their channels. To get a conservative estimate, we'll put their sub to total view ratio at 150. This means that with 420 million subscribers, they have at least 63 billion views across their company. With a ratio of 250, they would actually cross the 100 billion view mark. But even at the 63 billion view mark, they would have generated roughly $125 million in just ad revenue over the past 5 years, or about $25 million per year. Of course, that's just revenue and they surely have sky high production costs as well as they produce 90 videos every single day. It's likely that their production cost is lower than $25 million per year, but we'll just say that as $25 million as this is really nothing in comparison to their video sponsors. The sole publishing can put a product in front of 12 billion eyes every single year, which is more than a human population itself. Generally. Video sponsors pay between 5 and 10 cents per view. But even at a measly 1 cent per view, the sole publishing can pull in $120 million in pure profit per year as all their production costs are more than covered by just AdSense itself. With a more realistic sponsorship cost, the sole publishing can generate $600 million per year in profit and up to $1 billion in a single year. With a price to earnings ratio of 10, this means the company would be worth 6 to 10 billion dollars. 
they don't really have many video sponsors right now as they have really just concentrated on growing and understanding their audience over the past few years. But they are starting to accept sponsors. For instance, they have an advertise page on their website and it details the reach and demographic of some of their most popular channels and you can contact them for pricing information. But even if they didn't go the video sponsor route and just try to cash out right now, they could easily sell the media company for billions. For instance, Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion when they had 30 million users and zero revenue. Similarly, Facebook bought WhatsApp for $19 billion and they had 450 million monthly active users and again, minimal revenue. The Soul Publishing has a similar amount of subscribers at 420 million and already bring in tens of millions of dollars in revenue. Of course, those acquisitions were largely overpaid for in order to eliminate competition. But even at a tenth of the WhatsApp valuation, the sole publishing will be worth $1.9 billion. So there's really no question whether or not the sole publishing is a billion dollar company currently. They reach a valuation based on basically any valuation method, whether price to earnings ratio or comparing them to similar buyouts. And that's not even taking into account their other social media accounts, like their Facebook accounts which reach another 260 million people. But there is one large challenge for the company. Though their overall views per month and subscribers per month are likely still going up every month due to up and coming channels in their portfolio, many of their established channels have actually experienced sharp declines. 5 Minute Crafts pulled in 860 million views at their peak which has since been reduced to 180 million views. Similarly, 7 Second Riddles has dropped from 78 million to 16 million views a month and Actually Happened has dropped from 159 million views a month to 16 million views a month. If you're interested in the explanation behind these losses, then consider checking out my video on the death of clickbait on YouTube. But that's the state of the company today. Only time will tell if they maintain their billion dollar valuation or end up like Buzzfeed. Did you guys think a YouTube company could be worth billions? Comment that down below and drop a like if this video finally explained who is behind all of these clickbait channels and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.